Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Animate Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. There isn't anything to report as far as coming soon. There aren't any new models being announced this week. Things have gotten just a little bit stale. Facebook's page is still the same as it was last week. There's no new information on Game of Thrones. They're still taking pre-orders at Innova Toys, but as far as I know, nothing has shipped out yet. There's still several other coming soon models that have just been sitting there, and we wait. And that's kind of how that goes. Peace Cool is still the same. I'm not sure what's going on with Peace Cool. I'm a little concerned about that. They haven't said anything new coming since last year. So not sure what's going on there. There are some models that I have talked about in previous videos that are now available in one set or one collection of models that I talked about in last week's video was from Nanwan, a collection of like store shops or storefronts or what have you, little kind of rectangular looking buildings. Those are now available. They were supposed to have been available as of last week, but weren't showing up yet. I think like later that day or the next day they were up. So they're colorful and they're interesting. You might find them might find them an interesting build yourself, but those are now available. The other one, the big one, a lot of people have been waiting for that I've seen probably the most excitement over are the new MU Transformers models. I talked several weeks ago about Starscream and Starscream is now available. And Starscream seems to come with a lot of possibly detachable parts in the picture they show. It looks like several different wings, like a, a couple of different fists and guns and other parts that looks like you can just kind of either swamp them out or add them or delete them. I don't know, it doesn't give any detail in the description, but I'm very excited to look and keep my eye on the Metal Earth subreddit to see as people build them, because I know a lot of people have already ordered it, as they build them exactly what it's going to be composed of. It looks like a lot of magnetic removable pieces, since MU has went in the realm of using magnets to make things interchangeable recently. I think that's very much a possibility. The other thing that I talked about a little while back from MU, the Transformers, the cassettes. And they've got four different cassettes that they've released. And you can buy them from Crazy Toys. I'll put a link in the Crazy Toys store. I'll also put a link to Crazy Toys on AliExpress so you can choose which way you want to go. But at least on the store, on the crazytoys.co.uk, they're selling them as you can buy Just Frenzy. You can buy Just Rumble. Or you can buy Laserbeak and Ravage together. Or you can just buy the entire set. But basically they've got Frenzy, Rumble, Laserbeak, and Ravage available as little balls. I don't know how big. They've got it pictured with the Soundwave model, but and they look rather small. So I don't know, maybe Metal Earth-ish size models, maybe a little bigger. I would definitely love to get them myself and find out. And once again, we'll be paying attention to the Metal Earth subreddit to see as people build them, how awesome they really are. And while there isn't anything new being announced from Metal Earth, I did notice a couple of days ago on the Metal Earth, on their Twitter page, Metal Earth's Twitter page, they're doing another giveaway. And it reads, it is time for another giveaway. Thursday, April 25th, one lucky winner will be randomly selected to receive mystery set of Metal Earth models. And right before this, they did a, a little survey. If we were to do another giveaway, what would you like to get? And there were several selections. One of them was mystery models. There was a few other more specifics, but it looks like maybe mystery models was the number one suggested surprise me, I think was the option. Whatever, that's what they're doing. Rules for entry, follow, like, retweet, and tag a friend. I'll, as usual, we'll put a link to that in the description down below if you have a Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, sign up for a Twitter. You can enter a contest. Maybe you can get some free models. I love it that they do that. Poking around on AliExpress, again, isn't showing anything new showing up, just these models that I've, I've already talked about from MU, the awaited Transformers models, and the uh, Nanyuan models, shop models, have come out. But really nothing else is showing new. So I kind of did a little poke around myself with something I haven't mentioned lately, Tenyo. I haven't talked much about Tenyo. Tenyo is just another branch of the kind of greater Metal Earth family. Metal Earth is one of the branches of a greater company that makes these 3D metal models. Peace Cool is another branch. They're more of a, a China-based or sold in China, uh, distribu distributed in China kind of thing. Tenyo is Japan, and the Tenyo stuff, at least here in the U.S., is a little bit more difficult to get and a bit more expensive. And they have a lot of the same models with Metal Earth, so you just don't hear a lot of talk about it. But they do have some unique models, and I poked around on eBay again today, and I haven't done that in a while, and finding the right thing can be difficult. 
on eBay because if you do a search for Tanya, you're going to find a lot of their other stuff. What you what seems to be an effective way to search is search for Tenyo Nano Metallic or Metallic Nano, N-A-N-O, and that seems to bring a lot of things. And I did a search for that and just kind of poked around. What did I see? I saw Buzz Lightyear, which has been around a while. I may have mentioned it before, but you can get a Buzz Lightyear. I did see, interestingly enough, a Cinderella carriage which is very different from a lot of the usual Disney offerings. So I don't know if this may be a Disney specific for Japan or, or not. I'm not sure, but it's an interesting thing to add to your collection. And the price wasn't too bad. It's 20 bucks and free shipping, which is surprising. A lot of times the Tenyo stuff, or the same stuff you can get in Metal Earth, is quite a bit more expensive with free shipping or you know, not much more expensive with very expensive shipping. And that, that is one of the barriers. Looking around, the Gundam models, the Gundam models, I think, were available through Tenyo before they were available through Metal Earth, and they have a greater lineup. They have a more colorful lineup. I think all the Metal Earth stuff is just silver, whereas they have, for instance, a Zaku 2, which is mostly red. They have a gold Zaku or a gold Gundam model available through Tenyo if you wanted to go with more colorful stuff. I saw some interesting stuff. It looks to be some sort of anime Doramon, Doraemon. There's a hopter, take copter, and a time machine. Silly looking little doodads. I guess this is something that is more popular in Japan, so they've made models for it. I did notice there were a lot of different armor, Japanese style armor models. We have an armor set here. We have Japanese, Chinese, and European, and horse armor. They have a lot more and a lot more colorful stuff. There's a multicolor, and I apologize, I'm probably going to mess these names up, but I'm going to give it a shot. Multicolor Leasu Tokugawa, Multicolor Yukimura Sonata, Multicolor Masumune, Masumun, Multicolor Shingen Takada, Takeda. Uh, there is also, there's so many different ones. I could go on and on. There's so many different versions and different colors of Japanese armor. So if you're interested in collecting some of those things, you can go on eBay and find them. You're going to pay a little bit more. But Tenya was doing a lot of its own things as well. There's several different uh, structures that are more specific to Japan. There's the Tokyo Tower. There's a satellite that they have through Tenya that you might be able to find copycats of on AliExpress. But honestly, why the copycat stuff is usually not as good a metal. I, I, I personally, if I had the money, would much rather pay for the, the Tenya or the Peace School or the Metal Earth versions because they're going to be a little bit better quality. But that's just me. And I'll include a link in the description down below for that search. And if you want to find out more what kind of stuff they offer, I didn't see it today, but I noticed that there was a Star Wars AT Walker, but it wasn't the normal AT, it was like an AT Cargo, one that I would like to get. It has an extra section in it. It's a little bit different. There's a Millennium Falcon that it's more like an Iconics larger style, and it actually has landing gears, like ones that you big enough that you can actually set the model on it. I have that one. One of these days, I hope to get around to it. It's been kind of pushed to the back for viewer requests and models that were sent to me by Metal Earth and other viewers and things like that. So it keeps getting pushed to the back. But yeah, if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. You can see all the stuff they have to offer. There's quite a few interesting things, but you're going to pay usually a little bit more of a price for it. You, know, you may have noticed one of the things I like to do, if I remember to do it, is a question of the week. And I usually wait until last. There's one more thing I want to talk about, but I'm kind of gonna kind of lead into that with this question and it's a long one i just got it it's from chris s i had mentioned i bought the european knight armor and i wasn't able to look up a video for reference but let me tell you there there's four pieces that are backwards on the schematics and a couple that just don't make any sense by far the worst build i've ever done would love for you to do a review video to confirm some of my suspicions but also would recommend to stay away from the European knight armor due to errors and honesty, honestly impossible folds. Now that's not exactly a question, but a lot of times I pull these questions from comments and it's something that I wanted to kind of use as a segue to my next one. First of all, challenge accepted. I definitely, I'm, you've definitely piqued my curiosity now. I'd like to see what's going on. Yes, it happens that there are errors and things backwards in Metal Earth models. Is this one particularly bad? I'm going to have to find out. With that being said, it may take me a little bit of time to get to it. One of the things I wanted to mention, if you've made some requests, and there have been several requests over the past few weeks on my channel, I am 
trying to get to it. I have a list on my phone that I try to input into that list. I usually try to address it by order. Sometimes availability will change that order. I recently picked up several models online, recently got them, and actually sat down and started recording some video for it. I, if you follow my my social media pages, you may have seen a post. I'll share a picture here. There's several models and several requests that were made recently. One of the challenges I face with making these videos is finding quiet time. And it's a challenge that's constantly coming my way as the life around me and my life changes. When's a good time to find quiet time? Changes. I've used the library a lot. My local uh, video, my local library has a media lab. I'm not in there today. You can see my usual background behind me, which may be changing. More on that in a second. Today, I'm actually able to I might have the day off. I was able to get started early, get my video together, and record it before anybody else in the house got up. And that's one of the things I deal with is I'm in the basement. And if anybody moves upstairs, you definitely hear it, and there's just no recording. So finding quiet time to get things going is one of many challenges. There have been a lot of models sent to me from both Battle Earth and MU and viewers have sent me models. There's a lot of personal things going on in my life that have just slowed things down. Honestly, if you ever seen the movie Multiplicity, if I could multiply myself, if I could make copies, the different versions of me could focus on individual things and really blow the videos out there. Just one copy of me could focus solely on the MU Transformers models. Those videos take a while because I do want to make a series of videos showing you how I built it because that can be helpful. I know it's long and it's why I've split review videos separate from build videos because some people are just wanting to know our review and the highlights and whether or not they should build this or be interested in it or get it. But some people are going to be building this model and go, how does this come together? And that's why I still do the build videos. I'm trying to address both sides and it just takes time. Time away from all the requests that I get. And so, yeah, if you've made a request recently, I've got it on a list and I'm working on it. Feel free to repeat yourself if it's been a while in case it somehow didn't get on my list. But I am working towards the ultimate goal of trying to meet everyone's request as time goes on. Really, I'd like to build them all. I made the comment just a minute ago about the scenery behind me may be changing. One of the things that's going on is I am planning a move. This is something that's been in the talks for the past couple of years to get out of my present situation. And that, yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't say it like that. That makes it sound bad. The situation has been a good situation. I've lived with several roommates that have helped me out through my health and my struggles and my heart transplant. And we all moved in together to help each other out. A lot of it was done for my benefit, more so than I initially realized. And I'm very grateful for that to my roommates for doing so much to help me and my kid out. But that time has passed. My health has improved. Though I'm still on dialysis, I could do a lot more now than I used to be able to do and am working towards being more active as time goes on. But in the meantime, there's a lot of packing and throwing stuff in storage right now. So that's eating away at the time that I have. And eventually this background is going to start getting packed up. I feel like I should maybe make some videos on how to pack these models for a move. I've been saving all kinds of boxes. We've got a lot of 3D printing going on recently, and I have a pile of filament boxes sitting here beside me because these are nice, sturdy, and small boxes that I could maybe divide up and put models in to protect them. That's a big pile. Protect them in their move. But anyway, there's changes to come. I, once again, still want to make an update, personal update video, but I kind of figured I'd slide it into this video since there, was, since there wasn't, but so much to talk about. But yes, I am, I am in the background trying to work myself into a more active role in life now that I have the energy to do it. I've taken some steps to change some things in my life and I'm slowly waiting for just to see how those steps unfold. And hopefully I will have some very exciting news, at least for my personal life, to make here soon. But I'll leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel and my struggles to try and make helpful build videos and review videos and weekly news videos. As always, thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.